Hello dear friends, Ray Kunator is with you and today I decided to tell you about one very interesting combination in the War Robots game. I have already made a video about Blight and Decay weapons and now it's time to test the hazard guns on one of the robots to make sure that they also perform very well. My favorite robot is still Typhon, which is why today I decided to try playing it using hazards and let's get started. I want to immediately note what I love Typhon so much for. This robot is very good for its versatility. It has good speed, good firepower in the form of 4 medium weapons, a large amount of durability that can be up to 300,000 and it also has a cool Aegis shield that allows you to often avoid damage. In addition, the ability of this robot allows you to neutralize the enemy for 5 seconds. Typhon fires a projectile that, when hit, imposes the suppression effect on the enemy, immobilizes, prohibits the use of the ability and the active module. Therefore, the robot itself, also not an Imba, can show itself very worthy even in the Championship League if it is upgraded at least to level 10. Hazard guns are also pretty good, but although they don't do much damage, it's all about their IQ ability. Hazards, like any other radiation weapons, deal increased damage with each successive shot. From personal experience, I can say that the difference between the first and last shot is directly felt, because the damage increases up to 200%. The weapon's damage also can be increased if you use good passive modules. Personally, I put two nuclear amplifiers on my Typhon and after a certain amount of damage I have an increase of 80%, which makes these guns even more powerful. But that's not all. I chose River Chase as a pilot and her ability allows you to get an increase of 25% to damage after using the ability. That is, the ideal attack looks like this. You go one on one against the enemy robot, use the ability, neutralizing the enemy and while it can do anything, you calmly dismantle it for a clip of hazards. Having played about 30 fights on this combination, in almost every fight I managed to make a living legend, which is very cool for the championship league. Of course, there are a number of robots that can kill me without any problems, such as the harpy with the pilot Yang Li, because then it guns ignore my Aegis shield and hit points start to decrease extremely quickly, even the advanced repair unit doesn't save much. Therefore, when playing on such a combination, it's still worth avoiding some opponents and trying not to tank too much, because although Typhon is a good robot, it definitely won't be able to take as much damage as Revenant, and a couple of mistakes will lead you to being killed very quickly. As a result, I would like to say that I really like the combination of Typhon and Hazard's weapon, and I can surely say that now this is a one of the strongest builds in the game. Well friends, that's all that I wanted to tell you about today. Be sure to write in the comments what you think about this combination. It will be very interesting for me to read your comments as well as to know your opinion. That's all for today, thank you all very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like this video, it's very important for me. Ray Kunator was with you, goodbye everyone.